What's up, Planet Roller Skaters? Are you ready to take your outdoor skate adventures to the next level? Whether you're a seasoned outdoor skater or just starting to explore the thrilling world of roller skating, this hack is a total game changer. So grab your skates, lace them up tight, and let's roll. Picture this, you are cruising towards an epic rendezvous with your crew at the ultimate skate sanctuary. As the scorching summer sun beats down, you muster every ounce of energy to conquer the path to the sacred skate haven where your friends await. It's summer, it's hot, and suddenly the path ends in a grassy field. With this tip that I'm about to give you, say hello to uninterrupted flow. Without further ado, I would like to share my tip by introducing you to a roller skater's best friend, the electric bike. I got my first e-bike when I was living in New York City and it made life in the city so much fun. I would just put my skates on and head out for the day on my e-bike and I would be able to hop from spot to spot, neighborhood to neighborhood, and it was so much more fun than like going underground and using a subway or getting stuck in traffic. It really did just like elevate my adventure to the next level. Then when I moved to Galveston, it was still just as handy. So right now I'm living on a little island outside of Houston on the coast of Texas. And I'll tell you, I'll tell you what, not all concrete is created equal. <laughs> and a lot of the concrete on this island is completely unskatable. This is a city where I can't just go out on my skates and get somewhere. Like I literally need either a car or a bike or, you know, my feet to get through some of these areas. So here um, I just go out on my e-bike with my skates on again and I can get through those rocky areas. I can get through when the sidewalk just ends in the grass. I can go through the grass. I can also take it on the beach, which is really fun and handy because it's not leaking gasoline. It's electric, eco-friendly. And I can also cut the line at the ferry, skip all the traffic, get to the good places on the island that I wanna be much faster than I would otherwise. You don't need to be wasting your energy on rough, rocky terrain. I don't think it's fun. Like when I'm skating, I wanna have fun. And if I'm just going like, or like walking with my skates on, like, no thanks. I wanna feel the wind in my hair. I wanna feel the freedom. I wanna be flowing. So I'll just hop on my bike, get to the spots where I can do that. The other big, big reason that it's great to have an e-bike is because you don't have to leave your non-skating friends behind. 
Not everybody skates and that's totally fine. But if somebody still wants to go on the adventure, they can just hop on the bike and all the skaters can skitch behind. So even though the bike only sits one person, you can actually roll with the whole crew. If you're a serious street skater and you're hopping staircases, jumping gaps, trying to hit ledges, the e-bike is the perfect thing to give you a boost of speed. You can just skitch on the back and use that power and momentum to hit way crazier tricks and leave everybody around you like mind blown. And the biggest reason why an e-bike is the best accessory for a skater is because it's just fun. It's just, it's fun. They go so well together. Little wheels, big wheels, wheels on wheels. I love it. Obviously, I love my e-bike. And that's why when EcoTrick reached out and asked if I wanted to experience their electric bike, I said, heck yes, absolutely, let's do it. For years I've been riding the Super 73 bikes and they're really cool looking, very stylish, but the EcoTrick bike that I've tried actually has a lot of functionality that makes it an ideal bike for roller skating. Number one is this bike folds. So if you don't have like a big van or a truck to transport it in, you can fold it up and it fits into most car trunks or like hatchbacks. Also, it has gears. So this is the first e-bike where the bicycle itself can actually switch gears. And so whenever you're taking off, you can control the torque. So on a regular e-bike, when I hit go, it's like go. And so if you're skitching on the back, it kind of yanks you. It makes it a little bit unstable. But with this one, the bicycle itself has its own gears and I can adjust the power of like the battery assist so that I can really control my takeoffs and I can make them nice and smooth. In addition to that, when the battery is dead, the bicycle itself is really easy to ride. So with the other e-bikes I've used in the past, when the battery dies, it has pedals for you to go, but the bike is like too heavy and too clunky. Well, when my battery died on the EcoTrick bike, the bike itself works really well. It doesn't feel that heavy and I can change gears. So that's something that's like super helpful. Another thing is it comes with shocks, not just in the front on the handlebars, but the seat itself actually has shocks. So I won't lie, e-bikes are a bit pricey, but trust me when I say it's worth every penny. The sheer joy, convenience, and unforgettable adventures you'll experience make it an investment you won't regret. So my friends, that is why my number one outdoor skating tip is to get an e-bike. I wanna know if you have any outdoor skating tips, and if you do, put them in the comments below. Let's share with everybody. Let's make this the best summer of skating we've ever had. So be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and until next time, later skaters.